there was Gemma, myself, there was another uh, author, Geraint, um, and the three of us met, uh, we're all fellows at the marketing of, of the Charter Institute of Marketing, and we used to have various discussions and chats about the role of marketing and how we how we kind of felt that marketing was playing a big part in creating a problem when it came to sustainability. And I suppose that just kept playing on our conscience. And every time we got together, uh, we discussed the challenges because, you know, as marketers, we are there to effectively support growth and growth often means driving more and uh, that meant consumption um, that meant um, you know more kind of uh, consumer behaviors uh, not being as conscious this kind of throwaway mentality and so we just started to think about well look at what marketing is doing and it's not terribly responsible and what are we uncomfortable with? And I wonder if other people like us are becoming increasingly uncomfortable with, with this kind of lack of responsible marketing. And so we decided to, to write a book about it. And, and I guess what happened is that, you know, marketing is often seen as the function that works at the end of the funnel, this advertising and selling people more stuff. But of course, as, as marketers, we we were really all about well actually this has got to be much more about strategy this has got to be more about brand this has got to be not just the communication piece but this has got to be kind of pushed back and there was this frustration in, of, around this disconnect for us so that was really um why why we set about writing the book and and we called it sustainable marketing because because it, and how to drive profits with purpose, because this was about almost using marketing powers for good. And yeah, as Michelle said, we, we did debate with Bloomsbury quite long and hard about, is it sustainable marketing? Is it uh, marketing sustainability? Is it the sustainable marketer? Um, and you know, even now we keep getting asked, what is sustainable marketing? We need a definition for what sustainable marketing is. And actually over time, it isn't, a, you can't define it because it's a number of different things. And actually, as Michelle said, it's about us as marketers using our powers for good. Um, and sustainable marketing is, 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 um, is really a shift in, in, in mindset. It's about placing a different lens over everything you do and why you do it and how you do it. And, you know, we believe that sustainability is driving um, marketing back to the core of what it should be around brand and strategy um, and aligning everything you do um, commercially to people, planet and profit. And, you know, it's about communication, but not just the advertising part of communication. It's about transparent, clear and, and hopeful and authentic communication. So, you know, definitely with the work and all of the stuff we've been doing, sustainability is acting as a catalyst for marketing to think differently and reconsider their relationships with stakeholders internally and externally. Yeah, and and I and and so I mean, it's interesting. I've just been putting one of our podcasts together for our Can Marketing Save the po uh, Planet podcast for next week. And uh, we interviewed Alan Williams from the Values Economy, and one of the things he said is, you know, does marketing want to be positioned as the, you know, the persuaders, or do they want to be the communicators of and and the the catalysts of authenticity around brand? And I thought, you know, that's a that's kind of very much where that was our frustration about, you know, this isn't just about persuading people to do more, more, more. This is also about getting back to the core, as Gemma said, there around what is this business for? Why do we exist? What are we doing? And how are we going about that? And there seemed to be, as I said earlier, this disconnect from, you know, marketing it here over at the end, just churning out more stuff rather than actually being aligned with the strategic purpose of an organization um, aligned with not just profitability, but with peoples and profits. So, you know, marketing can shape new behaviors. And we introduced, we interviewed Philip Kotler and he talked about this concept of demarketing, uh, you know, not, not 
not teaching people to have more, do more, get more, need more, want more, but actually to encourage them to really rethink what they were doing, what they needed. And, and that so aligns with, with our view around sustainable marketing, because it, it is about almost that aspect of demarketing, of educating and, and being aware that we, we don't need to be doing more. And social marketing, cause marketing, these aren't new things. You know, these are concepts that have been around for, for many, many years. And, and that level of responsible marketing can really shift behavioral change. If we think about uh, smoking, great example, you know, from from, from all the communications and messages. Back in the 50s, smoking was really cool. Now, 2020, you know, it's really not cool. And of course, all of the communication and alignment with that is, is driving behavioral change. And so it's about how can we utilize marketing to support what's going on within the climate, to support what's going on within our own world and life around not just the climate change, but around people, you know, obesity, challenges that, that uh, you know, fair wages, modern slavery, all of those considerations. And, and I suppose when we started to research writing the book, we, we opened up to, you know, it's like a bit of a Pandora's box. Uh, you start to start to see one thing and it's like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And I remember when we spoke to John Grant, he said, you know, we've all just got to stop making marketing so awful. And and I thought, you know, that's a really nice, simple way of of saying things. So we have to think about creating, you know, new ways of of working and um, new ways of rethinking what marketing does, new ways of how marketing collaborates and works across the organization. So it isn't just at the end of that funnel, but it, it is considered through. Therefore, the communication is so much more authentic and aligned. So we get away from the greenwashing uh, perspective that is a problem. And, you know, marketing really being that voice uh, to reach stakeholders, whether they are employees, whether they are customers, whether they are, uh, you know, investors, what, whatever that looks like, but done in an authentic way. So, yeah. So the question I guess we are going to ask you guys, and it's the question that we ask everybody on our podcast is, can marketing save the planet? Because, you know, the answer is generally the same that we get from our podcast guests is yes but not on its own. You know, it's going to require government, it's going to require society and business uh, in a collaborative effort to, to take on the challenge of sustainability. However, marketing's role within business is significant. And, you know, we need to make sure that everyone is aware and educated because unless you're aware and educated, how can you possibly be responsible and make informed decisions? Um, and, you know, we started the podcast um, after the book because we wanted to keep the conversation going and we wanted to keep everybody informed, especially marketers. Uh, we've also launched our marketing manifesto and our learning zone, which we're having lots of people signing up to. And with the work that we do, so I am uh, the marketing director of CIM by day. So what we're doing at CIM is working with Michelle as well. We're developing courses for marketers and business. Um, and then last week we started development of uh, the first regulated qualification, so the Diploma in Sustainable Professional Marketing, which will come out hopefully by the end of the year if I can keep pushing it. Everyone's getting really bored of me now, but I'm just not letting it go. So we're going to drive sustainability um, through our other levels of qualification. But I think for me, the most exciting part is uh, at CIM, we are we partner with 130 universities in the UK and we map our content onto their business degrees and their marketing degrees. So we have the opportunity now to take that through to you know the younger people, the next generation of marketers, and inspire them to think differently and, and be sustainable marketers when they go into business. Because for me, they are the people that are going to keep the change going forward. We have to give them a much better foundation. So, you know, that is really what our take is on sustainable marketing. So I guess our question to you guys is, do you think marketing can save the planet? 